today we have a wonderful treat as Nicole McGorg is going to show us how she does her gorgeous colored pencil coloring. So let's go ahead and check it out. To start my card, I've stamped several of the images from the Critters Down Under stamp set and I'm coloring them in with colored pencils. I'm laying down the color and then I will go back over the color lines blending them with Gamsol to get rid, of, get rid of any of those harsh color lines as well as blend the colors together for some nice shading. I'm using a stump pencil and Gamsol to blend this all out. I love how the Gamsol really smooths out the colors and blends everything together giving a nice finished colored image. I'm adding a little white gel pen to the stomach of the bird there for additional detailing. For the trees, I'm using a couple of shades of brown. I'm laying down a lighter color first and I'm not coloring it very neat. I'm kind of scribbling it in there. The Gamsol will really smooth everything out so I don't have to take care to color really neatly. And then I'm laying down some shadowing with a darker shade of brown. And then I'll go back in with the Gamsol and smooth that out here in a minute. Just like the tree trunks for the greenery of the trees and also those little trio of leaves, I'm using a couple of shades of green, kind of a lighter color at the top part of the leaf, and then darker color near the base, and then I will blend all of these out. I am using some sandpaper to clean the tip of my stump pencil. If you can't get it clean with putting some Gamsol and just rubbing it off on the edge like I was doing along the right side of my paper there, then go ahead and take some sandpaper. You can get sandpaper usually the where you get your Gamsol or you can use sandpaper that maybe you have on hand or that you pick up at your local store. It just helps sharpen and clean that tip of the pencil, the stump pencil I guess I should say. I love how you can really see the difference between those colored tree and blended trees with the Gamsol and the ones that have not been blended out yet. It just is a huge difference. It really makes, I think it makes the colored images look really special. For the koala, I started with a light color of gray and then a darker color to add the shading. And I purposely left the inside of his ears white and I'm simply taking that tip of my stump pencil and pulling some of that gray color that I have on the tip of my pencil from blending into the ear area so that it isn't very dark. It's a great way to kind of pull in some color where you maybe don't want it to be very dark but you don't want it to be stark white either. I did add several layers of color to him trying to get the right color and the right shading. I'll go ahead and finish coloring the rest of these trees and the greenery and things before I die cut my pieces. I think when creating a scene like this it's important to have not to crowd your card or put too many pieces in, but you definitely want it to be complete. And I love all of the little elements Lawn Fawn puts into their stamp sets, like these little, the little trio of leaves and things and the little bird. It really helps complete the whole, the whole image and the scene. Now these are the coordinating dies. These are brand new for June 2014. I love that Lawn Fawn is coming out with dies that coordinate with past and older Lawn Fawn stamp sets. There were actually four released this month for older stamp sets and this is one of them. I like to try to get as many die cut in one pass as possible really quickly before I die cut the rest of that. This is the crocodile which I did color separately and unfortunately I had him out of frame and I didn't realize it while I was coloring the majority of him. So this is just finishing and adding some of that darker detailing I chose to go with some more kind of brownish greens for my crocodile 
to give him a little bit more of a realistic look instead of the kind of bright, more playful greens. And I went back in with my darker colors to really add some shading and things, and then took that white gel pen to add some detail to him as well. Now I am going to hop back to die cutting these pieces. I like to get as many through one pass as possible, so I was able to cut four of the images here. The rest are all going to be repeating images, the other tree and the other little trio of leaves pop out all those pieces and then I will run through these again until I have everything cut out and ready for my card. To see the rest of Nicole's card assembly, make sure to head on over to her YouTube channel. We'll link it up above. And then also make sure to check out the Lawn Fawn blog for lots of cute and fun samples. Thank you so much to Nicole for sharing her gorgeous coloring techniques and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.